Hi guys, welcome to a short video about what's the best tool to use after Microsoft Windows has totally messed up the snipping tool. They have upgraded the snipping tool just recently because they have added the video recording or screen recording option but now everything is totally messed up and I can't use it anymore so I've been looking for something which works good and so I found the green shot when I was coming first on this page it looked a little bit weird and I was a little bit scared especially because of one thing they, here they have a couple of screenshots and what they are showing is this Wikipedia site and they are not showing their own Wikipedia site because they have actually their Wikipedia site but they are showing a normal Wikipedia site about screenshots in general not of their own website so I thought it would be a scam maybe virus whatsoever so I wanted to show you if this is good and safe and whatsoever by the way here we have the downloads and we click on it we have either the Mac version which costs two dollars or the Windows version which is free I've downloaded and virus checked it and at least as of March 2023 it's totally safe virus free I've also checked some other reviews and all people which I found are saying that it's totally legit and no virus and I mean we can also find it on github it's really open source and free and there is no virus at least as of now we can also find them on Wikipedia. They seem to be uh, pretty long here already, I think 2012. So they are pretty legit. So how does it work? You can download here and then install. Here in the screenshots, they have a special uh, information here how to install. But I don't know why, because I've just always been clicking on next, 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 installed and then opened and everything was working. The only problem which I have found was registering the print key here. Actually, it's supposed to be English. I don't know why this is somehow in German. So it says Druck instead of print, but you don't have to be worried. I think the author is from Germany. So this is some kind of missing uh, translation but usually it will register all your print uh, keys here but sometimes when the print key is already occupied then this will be empty you can click here you can hit the print uh, screen key it will apply and when you click on OK it will throw an error message that it has already been registered so what to do you can hit the print screen key of course and then you will see what it is of course here none is registered if you have been using the print screen key to launch the snipping tool you can hit the windows key then type print and then it will bring you to the accessibility keyboard and you can turn this thing off here when you have turned it on it will uh, show the snipping tool the original snipping tool so we just uh, disable that and close it again now we can go to the preferences here and activate the print here again click on print and hit ok and then we can invoke it and how this works is we hit the print screen key for a normal uh, screenshot what's good we can see the dimensions we just drag here and then release the left mouse button and it will give us this option to save as with displaying a dialog where to save or you can save it directly using the preferred file output setting which you can set in the settings of this tool or open a basic uh, editor what it also brings up is this notification we can turn it off here so we can turn off all notification for green shot highly recommended so we have a couple of options for example highlight something or strike out something as far as I can see there is no real paint so what I'm using here is black as a highlighter and so you can see it makes it totally black this is one option or we can also blur some parts with this tool here you can see really nice tool works really fast so this is also something which I'm going to use and then we can save it from here or copy it to clipboard you can see we have also a lot of options directly from here then we have the copy to clipboard which I'm going to use a lot send to printer ms paint and 
This is also really nice function upload to image you are. And if you have deactivated the notification, the only thing which it does, it uploads it and copy the link to the image directly into the clipboard, which is super nice. So you can just go and paste the URL here and you can see that's the image here. So it's really convenient. Of course, it's not perfect, but I would say at this point, after Microsoft has messed up their own snipping tool, this one is the much better solution. Maybe I will go back at one day after Microsoft will uh, solve all these issues. By the way, you can always invoke the snipping tool with Windows Shift S. So you have still both options available. And the things which I don't like too much or I can't use uh, any shortcuts here, it always sets this window into the background. So no matter if I hit Ctrl P for print, Ctrl S for save or whatsoever, it won't react. I always have to click on that and use the menu to do these things, which is sometimes really complicated. Also, when I want to save, there is no direct save. I always have to click here and then it will show the dialogue here and I have to click on save again and some other disadvantage. But for me, it was just too much. So I'm switching to green screen now, which is highly recommended. I mean, I'm not an affiliate uh, for them. I'm not making any profit. I'm just doing this to help you. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.